guys, so this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today we're doing a bit of a casual video. As you can see, I am sitting on my bed right now. Well, can you see my bed? Yeah, you can just see my bed. You can also see I bought this at Kmart. It's just like a little silver reindeer and he is adorable. So he's on my bed. Anyways, as you guys may know, my tripod is broken. My light is playing up. So... I'm just like, I'm not going to set up the full thing, we're just going to do like a casual video today. So, we're just sitting on my bed, my light is on and it's working right now, but if the lighting changes throughout the video it's probably because it turned itself off and I had to set it back up again. Two things first off, my hair, obviously I've changed it. I didn't actually vlog it, I started my vlog, actually I think I was vlogging during it, but I didn't actually vlog anything to do with my hair, but it's a very similar colour to what I have done before many times so you know but yes my hair is dyed again and I haven't done a haul for a fair while the last one that's on my channel that I can find was from June so it is now November so that was a while ago I have done a haul on my blog since then I'll link that down below and some of these books may cross over there I don't know I just kind of went onto my bookshelves and was like what do I remember buying recently and grabbed a heap of things that I know are more recent purchases. I also have some Funkos because I have bought a few of those and I also have a new bullet journal that I bought. This might be a long video but we're just gonna get into it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the bullet journal I got and this is an Archer and Olive bullet journal. It's still in its box that it came in. So this will be my 2020 bullet journal. Obviously it is November so we're nearly at the end of the year and I still have a fair bit of space left in my current bullet journal so I won't be starting this one until next year. But I've been eyeing these for ages and then I saw a Books with Chloe buy one of these and she showed it off I think in one of her reading vlogs and it was just stunning. So I had to go and actually buy one of these. They are quite pricey especially when you take into account shipping to Australia but they are gorgeous. So yeah, Archer and Olive, I'll leave their website linked down below. I don't think this one is still available, but if it is, I will link it down below as well. But they do tend to go in and out of stock pretty quickly, like each of the designs. So this is the Archer and Olive dot grid notebook. It's 100 GSM ultra thick paper, 160 page grid and no ghosting or bleeding. Perfect for markers, fountain pens and even paint. So. This is what it looks like. The one that I got has a little moon and stars on it and it also has two um, bookmark strings. One of them has the Archer and Olive logo hanging off the bottom of it, which is the and on the front here, just so I don't have to try and get a close up of that. Um, but let's take this off. It also comes with a pen thing and gold sprayed edges, which is just gorgeous like it is so pretty and that's one of the reasons I wanted this because you guys know I am a sucker for sprayed edges so I had to get this but it's just a normal dot grid bullet journal but it has gold sprayed edges so I'm keen but yeah so that is the bullet journal that I got from Archer and Olive and I'll be using that next year so be prepared to see that in reading vlogs but I'm also going to try and do some more um, planner bullet journal type stuff on my channel. I have done one video but I haven't really found a good way to set my camera up so like to video those so we're just going to work on it. So now onto some Funko Pops. All of these except for one is like Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts. So I'm just going to do the one that's not. And it is Timon from the new Lion King. This is the flocked version. And he is so cute. Like when I saw him in store. Like I haven't seen the new movie obviously. I don't even know if it's out in cinemas as I'm filming this. I'm not sure. Um, but he is really cute. So I had to get him. Then I got a couple of like the exclusive Comic-Con um, convention center, like those type ones. So I got Filch with Mrs. Norris. Oh, Mrs. Norris has like red eyes. There is Filch. And then I also got Nagini from Fantastic Beasts. She was another exclusive. I can't remember what her one was, like what type of exclusive it was, but there is her. And then I also got Madame Maxime from one of the exclusive ones as well. I think those are the only exclusive I got. Actually, was Rita Skeeter exclusive or is she just a new one? I can't remember, but I did get Rita Skeeter. I can't remember if she's an exclusive or not. And then I got Crumb 
and Cedric. These are all from the Goblet of Fire Yule Ball set. Then we got Harry in his Yule Ball outfit, as well as McGonagall, who I picked up only just recently, and then Fuller. I still need to get um, the other ones. I, I think there's the Weasley twins, there's uh, the Patil twins, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember who the other ones are, but I need to get them as well still. And then I got Hagrid with the Happy Birthday cake. This is one of the ones on the normal line. He's been around for a little while, but I haven't had a Hagrid yet, mainly because he is that little bit more expensive because he is the bigger one. I think he's about 25 to 30. I ended up paying $50 for Madame Maxine because she's a bigger one, like she's the same size as Hagrid, but also she is an exclusive, I think it was convention exclusive one, so she cost me $50. And also Hagrid's head rattles. I'm not sure why. Okay, so now on to the books. These are in no particular order. They're just packed all on my, de um, my bed here. You can probably see some of them. Yeah, there's a couple sitting here. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. So first off, I have the hardback exclusive edition of Akane by Lynette Noni. This is the first book in the Midoran Chronicles and they released this gorgeous hardcover exclusive edition. This is by Pantera Press, who is the publisher of the Midoran Chronicles series. And it looks like this at the front, we've got the crest for Akane, which is the magical school. And then it has gold sprayed edges, which is gorgeous. It also has a color map inside of it. This one as well is signed as I got it through Booktopia and they had theirs signed. And this one also comes with a ribbon bookmark as well. So this is absolutely gorgeous. If you are wanting a copy of this, definitely go and check it out because it is an exclusive one. Originally we thought it was just going to be added to the standard collection, but then Lynette Noni announced that she found out that it is actually an exclusive edition. So definitely get your hands on this if you're a Madoran Chronicles fan because this is stunning and it is exclusive so you won't be able to get it always. While we're doing like fancy editions let's jump on to this one here which is absolutely gorgeous. I picked this up at QBD. This is one of the uh, Chill Turn Publishing. This is one of their like classics editions. This is um, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. I haven't read any Sherlock books but I was looking at all these editions of the classics and out of all the classics this is the only one I'd be likely to read and actually enjoy. I have read like The Great Gatsby but didn't really enjoy it and there's I think a one other that I've read but this one is one that I might actually read and enjoy. So I decided to pick this one up because it is gorgeous. It has sprayed edges. It and Akane has, both have gold sprayed edges as do my bullet journal. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't resist buying one of these editions. And it also comes with a ribbon bookmark as well. So next I got The Hobbit. This edition I've been eyeing for ages and obviously I've already read The Hobbit. I own three editions of it now, so now I own four. But I really like this edition. This is like a cloth bound book and I love the detail in it and the artwork on it. It's just really pretty and I've been meaning to get it for ages. And it's got a map on the end papers and I finally got it. It cost me a little bit of money. I can't remember how much exactly. I think 30 something. But... I've been eyeing it for ages and it was gorgeous. Okay, so now on to just some random books that aren't exclusive editions or anything. So first we have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I have not read this book yet. It is still on my TBR pile, but I've heard good things about this. I do have this on, I believe, Scribed? No, actually I might have it on Audible, I think, um, on audiobook. So I might read it that way as it is relatively long. It's just over 500 pages, but... I've heard good things, so I'm keen. I haven't read anything else by Brandon Sanderson yet. I have his The Final Empire, the what's it, what, Mistborn trilogy, um, but I've never actually read it yet. I have it for ages, but haven't read it yet. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a chance to read this one, but it'll most likely be on audiobook because I'm not reading too much at this point. I'm buying a lot of books, but I'm not really reading any of them because I'm in a bit of a slump, so you know. Then I got The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex. E. Harrow. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm pretty sure it's about like magical doors into different worlds. That's basically all I know. This cover is gorgeous. I don't know if this has got anything to do with Alice in Wonderland, but this like doorknob here reminds me of the talking doorknob in the original Alice in Wonderland movie, like the Disney animated one. That's what the doorknob reminds me of. Um, but I don't think it's got anything to do with Alice in Wonderland. If it does, then cool. But 
yeah, I don't know. I grabbed it. Everyone was talking about it. It's pretty. It was there. <laughs> I might have hauled this one in a reading vlog. I can't remember, but this is Serpent and Dove by Shelby. I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. Everyone and their dog has been talking about this book and reading it. So I decided to grab it and yeah, the cover is gorgeous, but it was a little disappointing because on the day I also got two other two other books and they were both like gorgeous freaking editions. And this one was like the oddball, the boring one out of the set. It is a gorgeous cover, but on the day that I received this, I'll, t I'll talk about those two books now. Where are they? So the other two books I got on that day was A House of Salt and Sorrow by um, Erin A. Craig, which this cover is gorgeous. And then these end papers are gorgeous. It's like a metallic kind of whitish gray color. And it's like there's a mask and a seahorse and the octopus and a chandelier and stuff. And then the front of it, I don't know if you'll be able to see, that it has an intent of an octopus on the front. Woo. And this book is just gorgeous. Cover and back. I'm currently reading this one. You can see my bookmark in there. So yeah, that was one of the ones it was compared to. And then the next one was Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This is the exclusive signed edition with bonus content. I got this from Booktopia. And from the outside, it looks pretty boring. But then we have this snake on the inside. We have this gorgeous thing on the cover. The spine is stunning. And the book is also signed. So you can imagine why Serpent and Dove was like the boring one out of these three that I received that day on the mail. So, but anyway, still haven't read any of those. Well, I'm currently reading House of Salt and Sorrow and I'm enjoying it so far, but not too far into it, but I haven't read the others yet. So fingers crossed I'm gonna enjoy them all. Then next we have Moon Cakes by Wendy Zhu and Suzanne Walker. I read this as an e-arc uh, a fair while, a while ago now? I can't remember, last month, month before? I can't really remember, but it was only in black and white. I think the first few pages were in color, but the rest of it was in black and white. So I was super keen to pick this up and have a look at it in color and it is just, stunning and I re actually I think I might reread this again in color because I really enjoyed the book. This has a lot of diversity. The main character has a hearing aid. She is bisexual I think? I can't remember. It's been a while since I read this. The main character is on the LGBT spectrum somewhere uh, as is one of the side characters. She has two grandmothers that you know like together. Two grandmothers not Two separate grandmothers. I really want to reread this. It was so good. Highly recommend picking this graphic novel up. It's super fun. Speaking of gorgeous covers, this is actually a book I've already read. I just need to put it on my freaking bookshelf. This is Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Rutherford. I read this one as an e-arc as well and I loved it. It was really, really good. So I had to pick up a final copy myself and the cover is really pretty. It's like a crown made out of coral and there's like pearls in it as well, hence the name. And it is this gorgeous purple color and it actually has pink writing, which well, it's like a pinky purple color, actually, which I really enjoy. Like, usually the writing on books is like red or black or silver or gold, but it's like a pinky purpley color. So that's what it was cool. Really love this one. Highly recommend picking it up. It is a YA fantasy. Now, I'll move on to two books that I have already read and I own copies of, but I wanted to get the hard covers. And that is Illuminate and Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I had the hard cover of Obsidio, but I only had the paperbacks of Illuminate and Gemini and Obsidio. I have a paperback of that too because it's signed. Um, but yeah, I had to get these and I wanted to spray them. So I have now done that. Obsidio is also red, so... Obsidio would be sitting here, but yeah, we got black, blue, and red, and I love how these turned out. They're really pretty. So yeah, had to get these, and I sprayed them after I got them, so I'm super happy. Now, this was a book that I picked up at one of those, like, discount bulk selling places. They, they put the little mark at the bottom to say that it's, like, excess stock type stuff, and this was I Was Born for This by Alice Oseman. This is another one I've already read. I read this one on audiobook ages ago and really enjoyed it, but I don't love, love, love this cover, and I didn't want to spend, like, you know, $15 buying this. I was waiting for, hopefully, another com cover to come out, but it was only five bucks, so I decided to pick it up as I really enjoy the book. So, now I have a copy of it, and the cover is not too bad. I just, it's just not my favorite design, but it was a really good book. Also, highly recommend, and the audiobook is really good for Alice Oseman's book, especially Radio Silence. 
it was really good on audio. Now we have another graphic novel. This one is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. I have already read this one. I picked this one up I think like two days after it came or the day after it came or something. This is just a super cute fun type book set in like a pumpkin patch theme park type thing. Um, yeah, really cool. Really enjoyed it. Recommend this one as well. Next we have a book that I have also already read. I think I've read like half of these books already. There you go. Um, so we have Tiger Queen by Annie Sullivan. This one I read fairly recently and we discussed it on the YA Book Nerds, which is the Facebook group I run. I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it. It was fine. It just wasn't my favorite book. And I do actually have a signed book plate in this one as well from the pre-order incentive. And also I really like that this cover is like root. You hear it? Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Usually the covers are just like smooth, but that one's actually got some texture to it. Um, but yeah. I enjoyed this one, not my favourite. There was a few things that could have been done better. It was a little bit slow at times, but yeah. I don't think I've reviewed this one yet. If I have, I'll link it down below, but I don't think I have. I don't know. I probably need to do that. Then we have another one that I've recently read and that is Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This is not my favourite book from the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, but I enjoyed it. Mm, I don't know. It's kind of on par with Escaping from Houdini because I love the Stalking Jack the Ripper series but I love the mystery side of it. I don't love the romance. Like the romance is fine. It's just I want to know about the mystery. I don't want to know about your romance problems. So Escaping from Houdini had a big theme on the love triangle and that stuff so I wasn't a huge fan of it and this one the romance theme continued which I wasn't a huge fan of. I liked it at the end where we really got into the nitty gritty of the mystery and when we're finding out who exactly it was but besides that it was a little bit slow for me because I just didn't love the romance. But if you're a fan of romance then I highly recommend this just for me not the hugest fan. Then we have When She Reigns by Jodie Meadows. This is the third book to As She Ascends and I recently read this one as well. This series I really enjoy. It's like dragons, it's a YA series and she's basically trying to save the dragons. A lot goes on in this book and I really enjoyed it. I don't remember what I rated it. I'll try and remember to link my reviews down below if I reviewed them or rate them on the screen if I've read them but I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, really enjoyed this one. Highly recommend the, wait, did I say As She Ascends series? It's the Before She Ignites series. It's actually called The Fallen Isles, but the first book is Before She Ignites. I got that wrong. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the Fallen Isles trilogy. Before She Ignites is a little bit slow, so I understand why some people can't get into it, but I really enjoyed it. So I was keen to pick this up and I loved reading it. I feel like I'm doing a wrap up as well. <laughs> oh my God. So. Next, we have three exclusive editions, which I couldn't get to before because they're on the bottom. So these are actually two different editions. Um, I bought them by ac one of them by accident. I don't know what I was doing. But first we have A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab in the exclusive collector's editions. This is the US cover and this is the editions that I wanted to buy. And then we also have A Conjuring of Light in the UK edition of the collector's edition. So now I'm gonna have to complete both sets of the collector's editions. I prefer the US editions because I prefer the covers over the UK ones, but they're still nice covers so I still will probably finish the set but yeah these come with ribbon bookmarks and there is exclusive content on all of them so first off the cover is black rather than the white and then the end papers have artwork on them the front says as Travas on the this is a gather uh, a darker shade of magic and then there's the back of a darker shade of magic and then a gathering of shadows so yeah more artwork on the end paper on the front we have this design on it which also which says yeah i have no idea um uh, <laughs> i can't pronounce that stuff you know um and it also has artwork on the back end paper signed there um then a conjuring of light this one's a little bit different it doesn't have the artwork on the end papers but it does have a map on the end papers same on both and then the front has the same design as the cover the person and then inside the dust jacket there is artwork so 
I kind of like this idea more than the inside the end papers. So I'm kind of torn on which one I really want to get, but I will complete both sets eventually when I have the money. But yeah, they're the Adaka Shade, what was it called? Shades of Magic series in the two different editions of the Collector's Editions. Okay, so next we're back on to just some normal books. We have Kilker's Journey by Heather Morris. This is the same author that wrote The Tattoos of Auschwitz and I'm really curious to see what this book is like and see what happens in this one. I really enjoyed the title for Tattooist of Auschwitz. It was really good. So I'm keen to get to this one and it was on I think 12 bucks at Target so I grabbed it. Oh my camera battery is going dead. Let's speed this up. So we have Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. This is huge. I did not realize how big this was. Everyone is talking about this book. Obviously, Stephen Chbosky is the author of A Person Being a Wallflower, which is a very popular book, and I actually read it. I didn't love it, but I also don't remember it. This was, I read it like ages ago. But I'm keen to see what this one is like, but it is huge. This is 700 pages. And granted, it is a nice floppy paperback, but it is 700 pages of nice floppy paperback. So I'm scared slightly. Then we have Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. This is the fourth book? Fifth book. How many books are in this already? I can't even remember. I think this is the fourth book in the, what is this series called? Three Dark Crown series? Yes, Three Dark Crown series. There's no name for it. It's just Three Dark Crowns. I still haven't read the book before this, Two Dark Thrones. No, Two Dark Reigns yet. So I need to read the book before this one, before I read this one. But I saw it for really cheap at, I think, Big W or Kmart, I can't remember. So I decided to pick it up. But yeah, and I also really like these covers. They're really pretty. And I like the spines with all the ombre. I need to do a photo with all four of them together now that I have all four. Okay, two books left. Next we have A Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. This is another one I read on ebook or on eARC through NetGalley and really, really enjoyed it. So I had to pick up a copy and also this cover is stunning. It is just so pretty. And also, I love this map. It is like huge and super detailed, and I love it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Highly recommend this. I think I definitely did review this one because it was for Neck Alley. So I'll leave my link, the link to my review down below. And I also lied, I have two more books. So next we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the illustrated edition. Obviously you guys know what this looks like. I'm currently reading this bookmark currently in it. I'm listening to the audiobook as I flip through with the illustrated edition but I love the illustrated editions. I will always get them like as soon as they come out. Okay so the last book I have is Weapon by Lynette Noni and I'm actually going to be giving away a copy of this in this video today. So well not today but in some point. So the one I'll be giving away is this one here which is just a straight paperback edition by Pantera Press which is the Australian publisher. I do have I'll show you my copy as soon as this is a haul. Um, mine is signed, but unfortunately this one is not. But basically I ended up with two copies of this because I pre-ordered this one, which is a signed one from Booktopia. Forgot I pre-ordered it and then bought this in store while I was away after it released. So yeah, I am giving away a copy of this one. I'll leave in the description how to enter. This giveaway is international as long as I can ship to you from Australia through Australia Post, which there is a few countries that they don't ship to but I will leave those countries in the description but yes I will give, be giving away this copy here and also I might throw in a couple things from Medoran Chronicles which are from our store Dusk Angel store so yeah make sure you check out the description on how to enter for this one but I am super keen to read this one I do actually have the audiobook for this one so I might read the audiobook as I just recently reread the audiobook for Whisper so I really enjoyed the audiobook so I might pick up the audiobook for this one how many times am I I'm gonna say audiobook in one sentence. Oh my god. So I think that is all the books. But yeah, let me know if you've read any of these of the ones that I haven't read and what you thought of them. Actually, the ones that I have read, you can tell me what you thought of them as well. But recommend any of the ones I haven't read and whether I should read them soon. That would be helpful. So yeah, anyways, that is it for this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one.